guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you my skincare routine. This is a two part video. I'm gonna do my morning skincare routine and then I'm gonna do my evening skincare routine on another video. But right now I'm gonna to talk to you about how my skincare has changed. It is different and I do think that your skincare should change like the seasons do. I'm not gonna walk down the street in the dead of winter in a bikini, so why should your serum that you use in the winter be the same as the serum you use on your skin in the summer? And I'm really happy with all these products, uh, so I thought it was a good opportunity to like talk to you about them and show you what I'm enjoying before I switch it all up again. <sighs> I don't know why I put them in this little suitcase with the atlas of the world on it so it's easy to keep them all together. So in the morning I opt for something really lightweight and something that's going to really just wake me up and refresh my skin. And I've been loving at the moment the Pestle & Mortar Renew Gel Cleanser. Now this is a super lightweight cleanser and it says it deep cleanses, refreshes and illuminates. And I found that it does all three things. So the reason I'm in love with this Renew Cleanser so much is because it's a really refreshing and lightweight cleanser. But at the same time I can really see that it is deep cleansing my skin. And I love the name Renew. I mean to me that just seems like it's a brand new new day, new skin, new face. I love this product because it has jojoba seed oil, um, it's got papaya in it, fruit extracts, great for sloughing off dead skin cells in a chemical way rather than a physical manual like scrubby way which I don't really like especially in the morning. I do have the balm that goes with this cleanser but you can also buy it on its own. Um, as you can see you can like pump it up at the top and it comes out, it's like a really thick gooey gel. It looks almost like, um, you know like honey that's not pasteurized. It's just a really great all-round cleanser. Um, if you guys haven't heard of the brand Pestle & Mortar, I really suggest you check them out. They're like a really awesome natural skincare brand and their packaging is so, so, so chic as well. Serum time! Okay, so you guys might have seen this already um, in a few videos that I've posted on my channel. This is the Le Mer, Le, Le, Le Mer, Le Mer Revitalizing Hydrating Serum. When I first received this, I wasn't sure because it does have a tiny bit of an alcohol, alcohol, I'm gonna say alcoholic, alcohol medical whiff about it. But I did actually email them and asked if it had any alcohol in it, and it's alcohol free. It's a really nice revitalizing and refreshing serum, but again, super hydrating because my skin is dehydrated. I need something that's just really gonna like put some hydration back in. It's really, really lightweight, it absorbs super quickly, and it's perfect for um, layering on your next product, so it doesn't leave you feeling like greasy or that you've got a film on you. Like many of the Le Mer products, this has the red, green, and brown algae formulation in it, which makes it so unique. It's also got lime tea concentrate in it also, and that's gonna help with the acts antioxidation process. My skin just loves this stuff, it literally drinks up, although I have been using it for two months, and I still have quite a bit left. This is not a cheap product, it is £162 RRP I believe. Would I buy it again? I mean it has been one hell of a treat using it, but I personally feel like £162 maybe is a little bit too steep for me to spend on skincare when there are so many great ones out there, but I know that die-hard Le Mer fans, especially maybe younger ones with a little bit more expendable income will love this product. Next up, I mean, I'm just gonna bore y'all now because next up is something really, really obvious. This was also my choice of day cream last winter, but they have since brought out a new version with SPF, which makes it my perfect day cream. I'm talking about my Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream. I absolutely love this. I actually filmed with Elemis um, a few months ago um, to launch this cream to market. I was in one of their campaigns and it was just like a dream come true for me because I absolutely love the brand, I love the products and I love this cream. It is amazing. Anyone who uses it will tell you it's just one of the best creams in the world. So for that reason, it's still in my skincare regime a year later. Smells amazing, it's full of collagen, it's great for hydration, it sinks in really quick, quickly, it's the most perfect makeup base I have ever used as a day, like a day cream ever. Like It's not a primer obviously, but it sits beautifully under makeup. The hydration levels on my skin are maintained throughout the day, and also it now comes with the bonus of SPF 30, so it's a no-brainer for me. I don't necessarily need to be using anti-aging because I'm still in my 20s, but I absolutely love this cream and I only think it's doing good things to my skin. 20 to 80 years on and, and above. Next up is the newest thing to my skincare routine and that's actually because it's actually just been launched pretty much. If you do follow me on social media you'll have 
seen me talk about this maybe three four times already on my Instagram stories this is the simple hydrating booster now this I have welcomed into my skincare routine this summer because I am using a lot lighter products than I normally would throughout the rest of the year because there's no harsh winds it's not that cold outside and my skin is a little bit more oily than normal but that doesn't mean it's still not dehydrated so with all of my lovely light delicious products in mind sometimes my skin is a little bit thirsty and it does need that little bit of boost of hydration and that's where this comes in now this is a new product from simple it's a hydrating boost hydrating booster you can use it in any manner of ways but I tend to just open it up and pat it onto the areas of my face that need a little extra hydration it's also an amazing primer as well so if I'm not wearing a primer then this will pretty much do the job this stuff is just awesome. You can mix it with your makeup, you can put it on as your serum, you can put it on after your serum, you can put it on after your moisturiser to like hold in all the moisture. It feels like kind of slippery, not like a silicone or anything, but kind of like a jelly and it basically just locks in all of my moisture to my skin. It's only like eight pounds from Boots. I think if you are really happy with your skincare routine but you have noticed that you're getting a little bit of dryness in certain areas but not like all over your face, then maybe pick this up and uh, give it a whirl because you just pat it into the areas that need it. Maybe just add it on there uh, before you put your makeup on and then you can touch up during the day because it doesn't disturb makeup either. And this has just been a little bit of a lifesaver recently. So I really love this last I have my eye cream recently I have been loving the origins a perfect world eye cream and this has SPF in it it's an age defense eye cream it's got white tea enzymes in it to like um, perk up the under air eye area that can be a bit like tired or like baggy do I want to say baggy sometimes it's a little bit baggy what's most important to me is the fact that it has SPF 20 because the skin around my eye around your eye, around my eye, around everyone's eye is super delicate and it does need that extra protection because it's going to be the first place that we see our wrinkles start to appear so make sure your eye cream has an SPF in it even if the rest of your moisturiser doesn't it's really important that you have an eye cream with an SPF in my opinion especially in the summer but you know always kind of I thought I would just include my primer in my skincare routine because I put primer on pretty much every day. So I wanted to show you the one that I'm loving at the moment. And that is the Marc Jacobs Coconut Primer. It's called, wait for it, Invisible Undercover Perfecting Coconut Face Primer. And I believe this has been out for like maybe three, four months. They brought it out when um, he brought out all those um, coconut based foundations, which I have and I still haven't tried. But I really want to because I do love... Marc Jacobs Beauty. But I absolutely love this primer. It's, I would compare it very, very, very similarly, similarly, similarly to the Too Faced Hangover Primer. Oh, I can't speak today. Obviously, it smells of coconuts, which the Too Faced one does as well. But it's also got the same consistency. This one's maybe a little bit lighter, a little bit more jelly like, um, but I just love it. It hydrates my skin beautifully. Makeup sits really well on top of it, especially if I've done all of those things before and then I finished with the coconut primer. The coconut is not overwhelming either, it's very, very, very subtle. So if you like coconut, if you don't like coconut, in fact I can't even smell it anymore. In fact I can't smell it at all. In fact is this even coconut? Yeah, I said it was, yeah. So that has been my everyday morning skincare routine. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you've got any questions about the products, please leave them in the um, comment boxes below and I'll get back to you as best I can. I'll also link everything I've mentioned uh, again in the description box. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so and um, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you back here on my channel really, really soon. Bye for now.